Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights! When we last left off, we'd finally regrouped with Aaron Gend, who informed us that, surprise, surprise, Arabeth had vanished. It would seem that she's gone to enact her own brand of vengeance, which, considering the outset uh, and mood that she had when we last encountered her, is probably going to be very, very violent and not in keeping with her god. Why do I get the feeling that they're foreshadowing some kind of... Um, what's the word? Uh, stumble, that's it. A stumble. A stumble from grace. Maybe. Maybe. For now, however, we shall see if the Priest of Tear will sell anything to Hello us. Hello to you. Uh, any clerical support? Ah, oh, you're favourable. Excellent. That means we're selling you everything. You can have this necklace and this sapphire, and this gem, and we're basically going to make you go bankrupt. Ooh. They're expensive. <laughs> oh, well, we'll sell them. Necklace. Let's see what else we can have here. Apparently the Aaron Gend music is still going. Scimitar plus two. We'll sell that for a fair price. Silver necklace. Gems, Arabeth's ring, <laughs> that ring of elemental resistance that we just have lying around. Can't use that, or these, and that's probably going to be worth identifying. Yes, it was. Just want to sell many things in our inventory that we aren't probably going to find that useful. Like this book of the Time of Troubles, which we pretty much know a lot about because we have... Well, I've... Well, it's all in the past, but I also did Baldur's Gate, so it's pretty much the same. It's all about the god of murder, and it's quite interesting stuff. Quite interesting stuff. There's actually, I think, a series of... There are some books that were written around that time as well. Oh. Why do I have this? Uh, ah, yes. A uh, signet ring to identify... It was for a quest. It was definitely for a quest. Ooh, we have greater restoration here. That's pretty good. We might want to hold on to that. We don't want that, though. Or this, or that. Oh, we can't sell that. He doesn't want it. Also, we have a piece of ironwood that we've just been carrying around for about five billion years. Also, there are a few spells that I might want to have in my spell selection. Where is a... There should be a spell... Is there... Do we have a spell resistance spell? We might do? I get the feeling we might. Greater, we have Greater Stone Skin now. It's a pretty good spell. I'm almost tempted to have it prepared. I believe Dispel Magic is an option. It is. It's a 4th level spell. Uh, might want to have that cast. There we go. We might want to have a casting of Dispel Magic just lying around. We have Greater Stone Skin, which is a good spell. And I'm... Ah, that's probably the Recall Portal, so if we use the Stone of Recall, we'll appear here. So we need to go get one version of a seal. But there are two pirate captains, so really, the choice is kind of ours as to which one we want to go for. There are a few, so let's just go and get one. Let's just go out to Luskan, and I think uh, the best way I'm going to decide this is... Oh, hello! You weren't there before. Well, you're not going to be here much longer. Time to die, eh? Well, oh look, there's more of them. Crump is just going to go off and uh, deal with that. I suppose we should go help him. We should probably also summon the tiger at this point. You thought your prospects weren't very good, uh, Infiltrator? Your dying breaths, you saw me summon a tiger. So, yeah, you weren't going to be surviving. So we're going to go... I think we're going to go down here into the sewers. This is the way that uh, rain goes. So let's go in to the sewers. Where apparently one of the pirate captains has uh, holed up. Probably going to be various things, and there's an exit. We've been in that exit before. We should explore everywhere and see 
Oh, we have found an encounter. Behind us has appeared ghouls. And the tiger is now diseased. Also, there's a ghoul ravager here. They're a little bit tougher. They are a little bit tougher. They are hasted, for a start. And they cause fear. They really are... The immunity to fear is a very important thing. It most certainly does help opponents. I mean, they're immune to critical hits, fair enough, but, uh... Do you have any loot? No, you have no loot. Let's move on. Let us move on. You are currently diseased. I don't know what disease that is. Exit to the surface. Hmm. Your end. Well, there are a lot of ghouls here, and another ravager. We'll just deal with these. Just clear out the sewers. Yeah, unless you're the ghoul ravager, you're not very much a threat. I'm pretty sure, actually, even though you're the ghoul ravager here, the animal companion and the summoned animal can most certainly deal with this. Yep, and no loot. Are there going to be more? Oh, there's a trap. Ah, would seem that there are various, uh... Various things I'm going to need to deal with. Can I deal with this? Can I? Apparently not. You poisoned? You might be. But apparently I can't cast this spell on you. Hmm. Well, we're just going to rest here for now, then. Have you, uh... Yeah, that's a lot of constitution damage. <laughs> that's a lot of constitution damage. Uh, we're going to have to deal with that. Right now. Oh, it would seem the constitution damage has now gone. Well, that's handy. We shall now summon another one of these. And I shall be back in just one moment. And I am back, and I've just noticed that Sarken has the world's largest will-o'-wisp behind him, enveloping the tiger. Or alternatively, it's the summoning spell to bring the tiger here. Are there any enemies here? Probably. Am I going to find them? Most likely. <laughs> There's a ghoul lord. Ooh. Um, that's kind of tricky. Might want to cast some buff spells. You need buffing. You need buffing. Before we trigger the ghoul lord to uh, attack us in melee. And I think... Uh, Crumpet might need this. Because I know full well that, uh... Well, there's a Ghoul Ravager and a Ghoul Lord. Deal with the Ravager first. The Ghoul Lord we can deal with later. Whoa! A summoned Skeletal Chieftain. That's nasty. Well, we'll deal with that. Eventually, the, uh... Ghoul Lord will make an appearance. There he is! Oh, that's a nasty looking spell. I don't know what it is. But we'll deal with the Ghoul Lord. You're meant to be very difficult, apparently. You follow me. Fair enough. There we go, you just get out of that radius for now. What did you have on you? An amulet of power. Ooh, if you were a wizard, that's a really good item. But I'm not a wizard. I am, in fact, a druid. I think we could heal you with a healing spell and then just move on. Excellent. So that was... Ooh, there were treasure chests there I totally um, didn't notice. Yep. There is the lever of the wind and a quarterstaff. Handy. So let's see. We have two levers. Next to the surface, there's another exit. I suppose somewhere around here there's going to be a, um, a laboratory. I've just got to find it. And there are no... Oh! Whoa! Uh, hmm. Let's cast a spell, shall we? 
Yeah, that's a good spell to cast. And got rid of a few of them. Wow, imagine if you just turned around the corner as a low-level adventurer and saw that. And it should be a case of, well, I'm running away. Crumpet wasn't doing very well with pathing there, but he managed to get past. I'll tell you what, Crumpet does a lot better with his saves than the uh, summoned animal. A lot less afraid. Willpower plus nine, whereas this has a... Let's see, your willpower. Yeah, plus six. That's a markable difference. That is a markable difference. Well, they had no loot. There were a lot of ghouls. There are some more ghouls there. Whatever we might be getting close were. to this laboratory. So, if you want to help me out, that'd be good. You can activate power attack and get closer, you know. Seems good. No, no, you just seem content to watch, apparently. Fair enough. I'll deal with this. I'll deal with it. <laughs> Literally blocking the way. Maybe the tiger can't actually get through. No, tiger can get through the gap. If you'd like to help, that'd be fantastic. There we go. Excellent. Much better. What level? How far are we away from the next level? Not far, actually. Well, when I say not far, we're 9,000 experience. That's actually quite far. So what's down here? My guess is more ghouls. Oh. What did he say? Fleshlings no hurt me. We talk no fight. Oh. He's an outcast. No hurts, no hurts. Me needs to speak to the living flesh. Needs to speak. Speak quickly. What do you want with me? Me needs the flesh to find the amulet. It has great power. Me needs it. But my brother, he keeps it from me. You gets me the amulet, yes. Me rewards you. Me gives you the pretties. Who are you? How did you get here? Me is ghoul. Once. Once brother and me were wizards. Liches we tried to become. Bring great powers to the captains. But it goes wrong. All wrong. We become not liches. Ghouls are we. Curse the gods. What do you mean by your brother? What is this amulet? Brother was brother when we were flesh. When we become schooled, he steals my precious amulet. Steals it. All my powers from when I was flesh it has. Me wants it back. You gets. And me rewards you. You helps flesh. You helps. I might consider helping you. You gets the amulet from brother. Me rewards you. You kills him or no. Me not care. Me need amulet. Why do you need it so badly? It has all my power from when I was flesh. Without it, me has no power. None. Why did you get it yourself? Brother, he uses amulet. He creates ghouls from the humans of cities above. Many ghouls. Too many ghouls for me to take what is mine. You takes it for me. So, he is evil. But it would seem like the uh, the other ghoul lord is making uh, ghouls basically terrorizing everyone, so we could give him the amulet. I'll do it. He's good. Get amulet. Kills brother. Brings amulet to me. I'll go now. Yes, go and brings it to me. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to have to fight this, um, this ghoul afterwards. Has you the amulet? Did you find it, flesh? I have the amulet right here. Yes, the amulet. It is mine again. Not so fast. The reward? Ah, yes. Give me the pretties. Here, you takes the shiny key and shiny stick that me finds. Pretties. Now takes amulet is mine. He gave me the lever of water and the sewer control key. 
I think those will help me uh, do stuff with the laboratory. <laughs> he could be like, right, time to kill you. A key and some lever? You better have a better reward than this. It's pretties. Here, you take small shiny pretties. Gold. Me remembers gold. Me goes now. You stay away, flesh. Me meets again. Me not so nice. quite know what he's gonna do. Maybe try and become a lich. But I get the feeling the ghoul outcast is not going to really cause as much trouble as the ghoul lord back there. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe, well most liches tend to just go away and you know, I'm very glad that I saved before handing that in, because Neverwinter Nights just crashed there. It doesn't crash that often, but when it does, it does spectacularly. So, Neverwinter Nights crashed. Maybe that's the uh, vengeance of the ghoul outcast. He casts like sort of end, end game program, just entirely fourth wall spell that he has access to. So... We've handed the uh, that over and got the uh, lever. We could have just killed him. Sorry. Ooh, you'll have to find the proper key. We do not yet have the proper key. There are, however, places we can explore around. And we shall do so. We shall do so. Indeed. There is an exit to the surface here, and uh, someone damaged Crumpet. Oh, and here is a mummy, for some yeah. reason. And a ghast. Remember when mummies were a difficult fight? Now they're effortless. Now they are effortless, and... Trumpet is being punched by, by a mummy. We can deal with the mummy. I don't think I will, somehow. I don't think I will. In fact, I think I will cast this spell and summon the tiger. But, but we don't need the tiger, because we have killed you. Also, we shall remove disease from Crumpet. That shouldn't work as easily as it does, because that's mummy rot. But it does in this game, and I'm glad for that. Also, this is an exit to the surface. I don't quite know where it leads in the surface, but it lead somewhere. Also, there's that exit that we were in before. So, let's head over here and hello, <laughs> Black Knife Rogues! Prepare to become one oh, yeah. For the High Captain, eh? Are we gonna find you down here? So, what other things do we need to do around here? Uh, saving your vein. Better than you have fallen Fair before enough. me! Let's have a... So we need to save Yvain, and we also need to go around and basically kill a lot of these, um... rogues and various cultists, eventually. We have to find the cultists eventually. I get the feeling we're gonna get into a big fight soon. So I'm going to get ready for it. It is time to get ready for a big fight. Resist elements. Full strength. I think it's safe to say that we are ready. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. So let's save on a separate uh, file because you never know, it might crash again. Let's move in. I get the feeling this is where something big is. Oh! It is machine! We found the machine! That's not at all what I thought I'd find. However... However indeed... Oh! One of the switches is already there! That's pretty handy. We'll deal with these, uh... 
various beetles. Actually, some of these beetles are particularly challenging, so it's probably good that I cast these uh, spells. Also, uh, apparently Crumpet is gone. Must have died. So they were tough. Have an awakened spell, Crumpet. Welcome back. So we have a pedestal of air here. We should put the switch back. Put the switch back. And put the switch back. Here's a pile of stones. With a magic rod. And a uh, contrapulator activation switch. I have no idea at all what actual like recipes to use on this, so it's entirely a mystery. But I'm sure we can inform him that uh, we have successfully managed to actually fix the machine. He'll probably be pretty happy about that. So, when we come back, folks, we have to explore around, find where the uh, actual uh, High Captain has positioned his forces and himself so that we can go and deal with him. And when we come back, we shall do just that. But first, next time, potion making with no idea what potions I can actually make. There are a lot of combinations. And he said there were only about enough in there for about 30 or so potions. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.